with the latest Inside Star Citizen, we've gotten some new reveals, I guess unintended or intended, don't know, of the new HUDs that we're going to be expecting in Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. And they look pretty cool. Let's get into this video. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. So we have uh, some new HUDs in the latest Inside Star Citizen. And uh, I think they look pretty cool. All right. I think I need to be on this side. Damn, I need to figure out this camera position. Okay. So um as you guys can see right the very first one that i have up here is the drake um corsair and it has a new hud that we can expect in 4.0 all right so it looks like they made some changes to the uh mfds here for your um uh system distribution right so um this seems like it's going to replace the triangle system Right, the power distribution triangle system and they're going to be going in a kind of uh elite dangerous uh style where your ship will have a certain amount of pips right so the pips will be what you call available power distribution i guess nodes i guess uh which you can allocate to whichever where whether it's going to be your weapons or uh propulsion or um shields okay so you have a certain amount that you can allocate, right? So, and um, looking at the screen, it looks like the Corsair has 18 available and there is three left. So you can see that this, they've already committed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not sure if these are equal to one or, or how it works, but it seems like, uh, Maybe these are these might be t worth two a piece. I'm not sure how they're doing this. And if you look at this lock item here, it looks like there's a minimum that you need to have uh, committed, I guess. You know, so um, it, it, it seems like that. It seems like that's how they're doing it. I'm not sure how the numbers work, but maybe this is just uh, for testing, right? Maybe this these these are not actually functioning the way they're intended. Maybe that's why the numbers don't add up here. But um, yeah, that's interesting. So what they're doing is they're going with the Elite Dangerous style where you can allocate, you have a certain, you have a pool and you can allocate, let's say 18, you have um, the ability to allocate uh, those 18 amongst those three um, areas, or whether it's your weapons, propulsion, engines, or uh, shield. Okay, so, and in elite it's bespoke to the ship right so let's say um the cutlass will have like uh 10 the corsair has 18 or um a 100 i has like four you, just just for an example sake right and the way elite does it is it's it's uh it's per ship right the ship will have a certain amount that it comes with by default and i think it's static you can't change it so it's either CIG is going in a direction where you can change it by upgrading certain modules or it will just be bespoke to the ship um, based on, I guess, what variant of that ship you have. Um, it will have certain amount of power distribution, um, I guess, nodes or whatever you they want to call these or ticks or whatever they want to call these, right? So, um, yeah, so that is interesting. This is new, definitely. What I also noticed that the radar is also kind of updated where it pulsates um to give the to give the impression that it's it's constantly scanning your vicinity so that's that's pretty cool um i also notice uh, a new scan hood right here right here so they have overview exterior and interior so you can scan ships um, the interiors of a ship that's pretty cool so maybe that's going to help you identify where the components on a ship are um if they allow us to scan the interiors of ships that's pretty cool that's that's pretty cool i wonder if this is also um give information only on ships but 
what about like buildings or facilities and, and things like that if, if you could just scan other objects and reveal the interior all right that's that's also pretty cool all right so another thing that i did notice is um they're bringing back the helmet hud where they show your ship i think they removed this a while back um where they showed a 3d representation of the ship i'm not sure what these numbers are but might be shielding not exactly sure okay all right so let's move on to the next one i have a few that i wanted to go through um, so this is just another view of the um, Corsair. Uh, this one is when you're activating the quantum travel for the uh, jump gate, right? So what I also did notice is navigation mode will has has a new icon here, and it tells you nav QT. All right, and then also they also have your velocity meter here, which is a little different from what you were used to. So that's nice right there. It tells you your current speed. And your remaining boost, 100%, is right here, after afterburner. Okay, so you have a certain amount of afterburner, and it tells you uh, the percentage of that. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. All right, so let's move on to the next one. So then this one is the Carrick, right? So it seems, when I look at the power distribution for the Carrick, I think this this red might be like a minimum that you need to have allocated i'm not exactly sure what that red represents but i believe there's certain things or um if you're in quantum you can't use shield so it, it reds it out meaning you can't allocate that amount to it so as soon as you go into quantum mode it disables your shields so this is probably the reason why it's, it's showing red because you can see that there's already a second pip allo allocated to it so there's one and two already allocated to it but because uh the ship is in quantum mode um shields are, are down as we expect and you can see that the nav mode and everything is also added here your velocity uh your speed interesting looks this kind of looks like an updated weapons hud here but not much information there this is definitely new this one right here where we could see um the components i guess that we'll have on our ships items and components and you can just turn them on and off you'll have the health status of them I'm not exactly sure what this icon would mean though um but that's uh maybe distortion damage maybe this is distortion damage maybe but we'll have to see scanning is also over here as well yeah, so it seems like there is some, you can adjust the shielding uh, based on um, hitting these buttons here up and down to redistribute shields around the ship. So that's what I'm getting from this, okay? All uh, right, and the radar right here sits right here. Seems a little bit updated as well. It looks good. It looks nice and clean, which is what I like to see, okay? All right, next is, uh, so now this one is for the gladius it looks a lot cleaner um we get another view of the scan uh hud here so we have qt radar missile cool so that's the cooling systems i guess or coolant that you have available maybe I'm not sure and i'm not sure what hit means what does that mean if you guys know let me know in the comments down below as well it has an overview exterior and interior for your scan mode i'm really curious to see how this will behave uh, what do you have it there it looks like they move the couple of decouple esp locks on in the interior side here nice uh nice um, um way to move it over here it's really nice that they they're able to tuck it in here as well um atmo gear what is atmo what is atmo what mode is this atmospheric mode uh, atmospheric flight mode is that different so does does that mean your ship will behave differently all right, so now there's power distribution uh, also here. So now what is this, 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 this little, they, each of them have this. So what does this mean? We'll have to see what this means, but that's, that's interesting. All right. All right, so let's see if we have anything else. 
topic here. So now this one is for the um, C1. We get a little bit of closer look at the power distribution system here. It's he's in quantum mode, so shields are down. And uh, yeah, this so the bar for this is full compared to the previous one. So why is this not full? Or could this be signatures for each component set? I'm not sure. Um, but that's, that's interesting. Scan. Scanners right here again. Um, anything else? Velocities on this side. I like this. I like all the ships have a different um, layout, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I think that is it. All right, so those are the new updates uh, for the HUD that we can expect. Um, really exciting stuff, to be quite honest. I'm really excited about it. Um, can't wait to get our hands on Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. You guys let me know in your comments down below um, what you find most exciting about the latest updates, uh, whether it's going to be uh, the new jump point uh, inside Star Citizen episode or even what we just talked about in this video in regards to the new HUDs that we can expect. Let me know in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let you all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.